Welcome back to my YouTube channel everybody. I've got a little bit of a haul today, but not just any haul. I treated my inner artist to some crafts and stationery because I feel like autumn and winter this year, especially this year, um, it might be long and I wanted to keep myself occupied. So I treated myself to some new stationery and like I say with all my hauls, this isn't to kind of encourage um, frivolous spending and consumerism. I just wanted to show you what I picked up because I had been denying, I have been doing my morning pages and journaling with a pencil. The one pen that I have, don't sack me, but it, it, I stole it from work. And I was like, I'm after doing this lovely office for myself, if you saw last week's video. And I have all of my tools for like sewing and stuff, but when it comes to like arts and stuff, I give myself like the stingiest of things. So I decided, because we're like, well, we're essentially in autumn now, and um, I know the nights haven't gotten darker, but I went shopping and my inner child was like, yes, get the coloring pencils. So that's what I did. I also did try to shop um, kind of local and to support the shops, bar one. Um, that I shopped online and I'm gonna start with the first one. Well, I actually did shop online, but they're an Irish art supply company. So I'm gonna start with them for oh, all of the pencils. So this company is Evans Art Supplies. I think if that's wrong, I'll put the thing here. When I was working in town earlier this year, I used to pop in there to get like some supplies and the odd bits if I needed something. So they are an actual little physical shop. They are, they're on the north side of the Liffey and I can't remember the name of the street, but they're kind of hidden, hidden away. But it's a little hidden gem when you go down. But they do online delivery, so I saved myself going into town because uh, I just didn't want to risk the L bus, you know yourself. Um, so I picked up loads of pencils. So first up, my camera, I don't think it's in. So I picked up some sketchbook pencils. So this just reminded me of getting like skill supplies. So remember your HB, your B, your 2B, 4B. Um, I got some sketching pencils. And this set comes with, I wasn't expecting it to come with a sharpener and a rubber. Also, in Ireland, we say rubber, <laughs> which also means something else, which I'm not going to say because it's quite rude. Um, we don't say eraser, like in security, like here, because you shot your rubber. But then I think these are my faves, and I'm going to show you a colouring book that I got from another place. But I picked myself up colouring pencils. I haven't had a set of colouring pencils since I was probably like 10 years old. So I decided to get colouring pencils and I got some adult colouring books as well because um, I used to love that as a kid and I feel like it's something I can do just in the evenings if, you know, I find it hard to kind of meditate, but I heard that the old adult colouring books and colouring is really mindful or good for my face. So next I got these, I think just as maybe a little experiment because these are ceramic markers um, porcelain markers and I thought they might be fun for a DIY maybe in autumn so I'm thinking like if I can thrift some old china plates and maybe write something fun on them so these were 12 euro and there is six of them in all of the primary colors they did have some sets that had pastel colors but they were sold out um, so I'll let you know if I do I'm definitely going to do something with these but what I'm thinking is old china and I might write something on it Maybe for one of my friends, might be something cute for a Christmas present. Next up, check me out with my T-square. I needed, I was actually looking for some woodworking tools um, and I find it hard to get them. We're gonna have a look on Amazon. But basically I just needed something. I know this is for like technical drawing and all that. However, it's actually quite good for woodwork too. Um, and I just needed something that had this angle on it. It's not very exciting with a T-square, but yeah. Do you remember in school? Okay, this is, it's a long time since I was in school. I'm 32 years of age. However, when I was in school and the school we went to, we weren't allowed to have metal rulers um, in case we bet each other up with them. That's the school I went to. So I remember being in Mr. Price or something like last year and I needed a ruler for something I think it was sewing and they had a metal ruler and a wooden one and I was like 
oh, I better get the wooden ruler because I'm not allowed the metal. And I was like, girl, you are 20 years old years of age. You can have that metal ruler if you want. Um, but it's mad I think stick with you. Next up, I got some paints. So this brand, Reeves, just before lockdown, I went into the other arts and craft art and hobby in Jervis Street and I picked up an acrylic set of paints by the same brand. Now these are gouache, is that how we say it? Gouache. Um, so I have a watercolour palette that I got myself last year and a watercolour book and I have an acrylic set and I wanted to pick up some gouaches, just something that I can, like, you know me, I paint my Bob Ross. Um, here's Bondi. Actually, if you need a laugh, um, I'll link to my Bob Ross Halloween video because we're getting close-ish to Halloween. So yeah, I got myself some gouache paints. I think this brand is kind of like a entry level. I didn't want to spend a fortune. Here's Miss B. I didn't want to spend a fortune on expensive ones in case I kind of didn't use them, but I think these are like a good entry level um, paint. And it, there's like loads of colours in them as well. And then last thing just from Evans Art Supplies was I got myself a sketchbook because I don't have any, I have like little copy books and journals that I write on, but I have nothing that is suitable for sketching and drawing and doing things like that. And I love that these can be pulled off as well. Next up is the shop that I cannot pronounce. Sostringren, Sostringren. Sisters Green, it's that kind of Scandi shop. And there's one of them in my local shopping center. I really just needed a pen, pens and highlighters. And the queue for like the stationery shops was huge. So I was like, I think these guys have some stuff and there was no queue. The shop was really quiet and I was like, they can have my money. So I just picked up some basics that I needed. So I picked myself up a smaller ruler set and it has the different like angles and things like that. I think it'd be handy for drawing as well. And sometimes I need them for woodwork, you know, just if I need to, you know, cut an angle, whatever, measure out things. Some cute pastel highlighters and I got myself two pens. I have been writing with pencil and I love the feeling of writing in pencil. I do my journaling in pencil and I have done like this year and pen seems quite, I don't know, I use a pen like in work and obviously there's times where I need a pen but I didn't buy loads of pens because I don't use them as much but I thought this little floral twin set was cute. I also got a golden scissors and you're gonna see why because I got a golden stapler and calculator so I got this little thing to match and it's gonna look cute sitting in the thing but also it's gonna stop me from using which I don't but some people do from using your sewing scissors to cut paper never do that don't do that it blunts your good sewing scissors. So I got myself a paper scissors. I do have some small paper scissors, <laughs> I feel like I say that a lot, in my little cabinet but I didn't have a long one. I also didn't have a bougie gold one so I got that. I also picked up a pad. Now I thought this was good value. It was only six euro and it is a canvas pad and the paper is all canvassy paper and I know when you're doing painting to, yeah, there's something about the paper weight, isn't it? Actually, it was five euro 38. I thought it was six euro. It says 280 gram paper times 10 sheets. So, and also if you have like your washi tape, you can tape it in half and do like two pictures. I love watching them. Oh, I love watching them. I watch these like painting videos on YouTube. They just show up in my like home feed and it's just people painting and you don't know what they're gonna do next and my favorite thing is when they peel the like tape off and i'm like and then i go and try and paint that picture myself and it's like not the same i also got i haven't put it together a block bottom bag do you know these um you've probably kind of seen them i just thought it would be handy that i could maybe use it as a bin for like paper and stuff you wouldn't be putting anything like wet into it but it's basically have you ever seen those brown paper bags that fold over some people use them as kind of like flower flower pot kind of covers and um, it's essentially a big huge brown bag and you fold the top 
and you can make it look quite rustic. Um, they were like really trendy not that long ago on the interior Instagrams. But I picked one up because I thought I could use it as a little bin um, just for papers, fabric scraps, and then I can just tip it out into my big bin. Okay, last up. Last up is a bit bougie. I was a bit bougie when I was picking these. Your girl got herself some Kate Spade for the office desk. <laughs> so if these were on sale, I don't think I would have bought them if they were like full price because it felt a bit extra. But to encourage me to not have the pile of receipts, I was like, I'll get myself a nice little calculator so I can do my old taxes. So these I got off ASOS. ASOS had a 20% off weekend thingy and they had some stationery and I would never think of ASOS for stationery. So I picked myself up in this twin set. Fancy golden bougie. My camera is not picking up. Uh, this bougie stapler. I have never seen a stapler like this. It's actually, I did have a look on a couple of other websites, but you can get similar off Amazon, but I was like, I'm going for it. And then I got the bougie calculator to match. They're gonna look cute on the desk as well. I also got just behind me there, I'll pop in a little still of it. I got this Kate Spade desk organizer because again, it was on sale and I think it's gonna be handy to put the pens, the little highlighters and the bits just sitting in the pot so I can just take from it. Instead of a notepad, I have a diffuser sitting in it but you could pop sticky notes. I try not to use sticky notes. I just set like reminders and yes, then, these are my faves. So these are, so these are my adult coloring books, but my inner child was like, yes girl. So I'll start with this little one. Again, these were all on sale. And so this is just a small one. And I like the size of this because I have, do you remember last year I made a DIY traveler's notebook with some faux leather. And this is the perfect size to slot into that traveler's journal that I have, I still have them and I used them as well. And this can fit inside, so if you are kind of like, I don't know, maybe you're on the commute, or who commutes nowadays? It's 2020, we all working from home. But if you do, if you are out and about, and I just thought it'd be handy to slot in, and the patterns are really nice. There's lots of like Moroccan kind of patterns and themes, but I was like, yes, this would be like, this would be nice to color. This book though is my favorite because you can pull out the quotes. The quotes are all like, you know, mindful and whatever, but they have like a little perforation on the side. The paper is lovely and thick. So if I do a nice one, like if I color it and I'm, I really like it, I can pull it out and frame it or pull it out and put it somewhere. Um, I'll probably just color it in, but I thought this was lovely and I'm sure you could probably get this book off Amazon. Helen Exley, E-X-L-E-Y, is the like author, you would say, and it says, the being in the now coloring book, inspiring mindfulness quotes to color and display. And yeah, Helen Exley London, I'm sure you would get these on Amazon as well. So that is my autumn haul. So that's gonna keep me going for like this season, if not longer. But I think with a new season and also a new uncertain season, and um, things are just changing all the time, I think it's nice to have things just in the house, in your office or wherever that you can, you know, just if you're having an absolute crap day, you can just get the coloring pencils, make a mug of tea, put on a cozy jumper and a blankie. I actually have a blankie on this chair and just take half an hour out even or an hour just to do something a bit mindful, a bit creative, just to kind of have a reset, I think. Another thing I've been thinking about for autumn as well is, I know I do a lot of creative stuff kind of on this channel, but possibly looking for a hobby, <laughs> as if I need more hobbies, but something like in the evening, I was looking at local like schools that maybe be doing evening classes. Um, and there's one or two kind of in town as well. I can't decide on one, um, but just something to get me out of house safely, <laughs> because I think I struggle with, with winter anyway. So when the clocks go back, I don't like the dark evenings. 
Um, I won't lie, they're cosy for like a week or two, two and then I'm like, I need sunshine, I need sunlight. Um, so I definitely try to do things in winter to keep me busy. Uh, not busy, I don't want to be too busy, but just something. So yeah, have you thought of maybe doing something in the evenings? Like I suppose I could do some online classes, I'm not sure, but I have also been thinking of something to do in autumn that will keep my head nice and yeah it's nice to learn something new i love the feeling of learning something new so so that is me for this week let me know if you are going to treat your inner artist to some nice coloring pencils paints paint brushes whatever uh, treat that artist if you enjoyed this week's video give me cheeky thumbs up you know the drill by now and i'll see you all in next week's video bye